Hi, good morning and welcome to today's Products in Focus. Well, the markets are pretty much waiting today for non-farm payrolls, uh, which will probably decide the next couple of sessions uh, at kind of upwards or downwards trajectory. So we're pretty much at um, potential resistance again, um, close to 17,000. As you can see there, we're at 16,982. Uh, I should need to redraw that on there just now. Uh, and there has been a fair amount of movement on some of the other uh, markets as well. So I can see there that the UK 100 is, is pushing up higher, the Germany 30 is pushing higher, gold is, uh, is dropping down. Now gold's a very interesting one because I think that's indicative of the fact that the markets believe the non-farm payrolls figure today is going to be good. And on the back of ADP private payrolls yesterday, which beat expectations quite significantly, I could see where that would be the case. But um, as ever, uh, it's good to go in there with a little bit of... Um, a little bit of doubt and we'll just need to wait and see what the figure comes in as but um, a lot of markets reacting as if there's good or positioning themselves so that there could be a decent figure in the works but the uk 100 anyway still pushing on a little bit higher above both moving averages closing in on 68.74 looking at japan 225 dollar yen has been going the wrong direction for this so uh, it's, it's come off a little bit it does look like we're going to have a potential uh, resistance around about 15.482 um, and again the dollar yen will be an interesting one to have a look at if, um, if non-farms comes out to be very strong obviously the dollar is, is advancing against the yen just now uh, if we have a look at this uh, page right here you can see just the gains made in the last couple of days coming up close to those 21 and 55 period SMAs um, and if non-farms is particularly good expect to see dollar yen continue to move in the same direction Moving on to West Texas crude, it's come off a fair bit as well the last couple of sessions. Um, broke below 105, so technical breakout on uh, Libyan uh, production output increases and also uh, the same for Iraq as well. So they're existing refineries, they've up pr production, uh, added new supply and that's bringing down the crude oil price. So 103 is the next potential support on West Texas. So I mentioned that gold's coming off. It's not exactly like the most aggressive move ever, but we're getting a little bit closer to this um, upwards trend line that we've talked about or the bottom end of this symmetrical and uh, not symmetrical ascending triangle formation uh, and today basically if no problem pearls comes out ecstatically brilliant gold's going to get hurt if it comes in really really badly gold's going to get a, a big shot in the arm and move a little bit higher so uh, who's hoping for a little bit of volatility in the markets so moving on to euro dollar uh, which is um, kind of moved to the downside the last couple of sessions but at uh, potential support, one spot 36.45. The fact it bounced off there yesterday and again today, uh, I think this is a level to go ahead and watch. So anybody trading euro dollar, that's the level to be aware of. And uh, sterling dollar hasn't done much since it uh, had its fantastic last couple of sessions. Uh, it's not done much so far today. Um, some longer legged -like candles there. So it's, 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 it's thought about rechallenging one spot 72. It's floating in the middle of nowhere right now. There's no major support resistance levels to talk about uh, for quite some distance on both sides. Obviously, a lot further on the upside here, but uh, non-farms, again, will be a, a critical component as to the next move of GBP USD. So economic data-wise, there's loads today. You've got European PMI services. You've got UK PMI manufacturing output. You've got interest rates in the Eurozone. That's not going to change. Uh, you've got non-farm payrolls at 130. You've got their employment rate. You've also got their weekly jobless claims, and you've got the trade deficit. So, to have so much data all coming in at 130 today, uh, you know, the markets will react to one, then react to the other, then react to the whole story. It probably promises to be very volatile. But if you're a smart trader and you know what you're doing, there could be some opportunities there. Um, and then you do have your 3 p.m. Uh, data. You've got your non-manufacturing business index. But at that point, I'm sure the markets will already be going great guns in one direction or the other. Um, in regards to client sentiment, you can see here that uh, most clients are taking a short position heading into non-farm payrolls. So US 30, 87% short. UK 100, 74% short. Only Germany 30 clients are a little bit more, more cautious. They're 50-50 in almost both, si both sides. Uh, looking at um, GP USD, got an 8% short position, and your dollar was 72% short position. So um, it looks to be that, that, that clients are positioning themselves in, uh, in quite a clear um, kind of mantra in regards to non farms. Uh, so the market's thinking that non farms could be good. Clients believe that non farms must be quite bad, and we'll have to wait at 1.30 to see what the answer is. Join me again uh, on Monday to find out what happened next.